Hello everyone, welcome to the SQLT channel. In this video, we are going to compare 5 against radical 5 plus the third root of 5 plus the fourth root of 5. Which one is larger? Let's see how we are going to solve this problem. I'm going to use a for this radical 5 plus the third root of 5 plus the fourth root of 5. Let's start with using a common root for everything that we have. Between 2, 3, 4, I'm going to take 12. And I'm going to rewrite radical 5 as the 12th root of 5 to the power of 6. Similarly, for the third root of 5, I'm going to rewrite it as the 12th root of 5 to the power of 4, and finally, for the fourth root of 5, I'm going to rewrite it as the twelfth root of 5 to the power of 3. Now let's divide everything by 3 to end up with whatever you are seeing here. Take your time, see actually where I'm heading with this approach. It's not going to be difficult to understand what I'm going to do, because usually when we have this type of problem, we are going to use an inequality here. Let's see what's the inequality that I'm going to use now. I'm going to use a MGM inequality here. The terms that I have is the 12th root of 5 to the power of 6, the 12th root of 5 to the power of 4, and the 12th root of 5 to the power of 3, the terms that I colored here. Based on this term, the arithmetic mean is going to be greater than the geometric mean. After simplifying the geometric mean, we can say that the geometric mean is going to be the third root of then the twelfth root of 5 to the power of 6 plus 4 plus 3. Now let's focus on what I have. Again, we are going to simplify the geometric mean for now. I have the 10th root and the 12th root. Let's rewrite everything as the 36th root. And then I have 5 to the power of 13. So I can say that the arithmetic mean is going to be greater than the 36th root of 5 to the power of 13. And obviously, if it's greater than the 36th root of 5 to the power of 13, it's going to be greater than the 36th root of 5 to the power of 12 and then I'm going to just simplify 36 and 12 and rewrite it as the third root of 5. So I know that the arithmetic mean is going to be greater than the third root of 5. Let's multiply both sides by 3 and then take power of 3 of both sides. We are going to end up with power of 3 of what I was looking at four greater than three to the power of three times five. Three to the power of three is 27. And obviously 27 is greater than 25. So I'm going to replace that with 25 times five. And then you see that power of three of the expression is going to be greater than power of three of five. And I can say that that expression is greater than five, which is the one that I was looking for. So between five and that expression, which is basically radical 5 plus third root of 5 plus fourth root of 5, you can say that that expression is larger. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, maths involved activities, and problems from different maths competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel, and I hope to see you in the next video.